We're taking part in old uh, donated motor here that we recently got to uh, use in our two-stroke class. And a really good opportunity for Lexi here and Leah to practice their skills to just assemble and disassemble. So really great to see you guys here, uh, you know, outside the normal class uh, practicing. So you can see here we're trying to get this off. It's rusty. And uh, we have went ahead and determined that that is a, a normal right-handed fastener. So the normal uh, direction should take this off. But the motor was stuck. And now through working on it, it has... Uh, it is at a point where it will turn over, but that's causing us some kind of little grief right now because this is so seized on there, it just doesn't want to come off. So I'm going to show you an old uh, trick. I call it a snowmobile trick, but um, that's only because that's the vehicle I learned it on. So we're going to take rope, and if you don't, if you don't think that this is an actual tool around here, this is actually such. A common use tool on disassembly where stuff is stuck and in our program here We have tags for all the different tools we have around here You can actually see we have piston stopping cord and we have a location for this that we can easily get um, Because we really do use this so check it out. I'm going to show you how that works. You're going to take And we're going to we put the piston down fortunately It's it's unfroze a little bit so that we can move the piston down the cylinder and what we're going to do is we're going to just stuff a bunch of this cord down the spark plug hole and what will happen is that will compact I stuff quite a bit in here, as much as I can really can, because this cord will compress. Okay, I'm going to try that. So you can see there how I was folding it and stuffing it, folding stuff. I have done this and then realized I didn't put enough cord in and had to go back and add some because it is going to compress it it is going to possibly cut it but we're trying to take an engine apart so we're not worried about anything we're getting down in there so we're going to do now is we know the direction that we want to remove that nut is normal thread so Lexi go ahead and back it up and I'm going to get the screwdriver out and you're going to feel that tension real just slow and it should get to a point where it feels like it's quitting go ahead you're going to feel that compression Maybe. <laughs> there. Yep. Okay. Now, even without an impact, I'm going to go ahead and try. You want to hold that motor? Let's get some light on this situation here. I'll hold that. That'd be awesome. I'll go ahead and just try and see if I could get this nut loose. And you, you'll see, you can kind of hear that crunch and hear much going. I'm not going to work that hard. So what we're going to do is switch to an impact. We're going to go ahead and try it now. We got a rope in here. The tool's set up. We're going to see if we can't get this. Uh, where's the flashlight there? We can't see if we can't get her off now. Oop. Awesome. All right, check this out. Pretty cool? Yeah. yeah. Probably didn't think we were going to be using rope to take apart an engine or whatnot. This is another one of those every mechanic should know. Uh, what a cool little technique to be able to uh, remove stuck fasteners as you're doing your uh, bike restorations or whatnot uh, using your resources. Man, did I learn this one uh, late, late in uh, my career. And it's, it's pretty funny when you do something that's so simple yet so effective. I mean, ultimately, whenever possible, I recommend use service manual. They will have factory or, or even aftermarket uh, tools to hold the flywheel and take fasteners apart uh, in a certain you know method or whatnot. But you know it's what us mechanics do. We like figuring out ways to do stuff faster and uh, um, use the tricks, if you will. So once again, in summary, I'd say always use uh, just use the OEM factory tool uh, if it's available. And if not, you need to use a lot of caution and think things through so that you don't create more damage and you can actually repair that vehicle the way you intended to when you started. All right, have a great one and keep wrenching.